Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mafia 3. This might be the final mission in the whole game. I mean, it seems like it. We've, we reached the end portion, but let's see. Diamond supposedly has information about Sal, so go in there. You guys throw shit all over the damn place. What's going on here? You're not wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, oh, man, it's not. Up. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. Yes. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Hearing what? Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue head of Jackson over in the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus fucking Christ. This was that goddamn nigga Lincoln Clay. We would not be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the fucking head. How once! You shot him once! I, I am leveraged out the ass! Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. Can't stop a man on revenge, Sal. We're fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets and we found that cocksucker. Every low life ball of piss in this city spills blood in the water. My blood. Do you understand? And they'd step over their own mother if it meant being the one that clipped me. I wouldn't last ten fucking minutes out there. That's a crock of shit. You forget? You are Sal Marcano. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Yeah, accept your death. Call whatever men we still have left. You're telling me to stop there at the casino. And when Lincoln Player shows up, we're gonna do everything we can to plant that goddamn nigga in the ground. Right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Go! Is that gonna make a difference, you son of a bitch? Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there, so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. <laughs> That's not what the subtitle is. It's either this or right away in some goddamn office.
Okay, is the song over yet? Okay, I'm gonna have to go mute during that entire discussion or drive of whatever you the fuck you want to call it, because they were playing a copyright song again. Despite the fact that I turned the music off, which is kind of bullshit to think about. But it's not just... It's not just me that gets to claim guys streamers too, I imagine. Ugh. So anyway, by the justification of them using a powerful song like that, it makes me feel that this is the final mission. I mean, what else would we possibly do after this? Exactly, not much. These are the last two people we need to kill. As far as I know, I mean, we took care of everyone else, right? After a long and arduous journey, I think we're about to close it out pretty soon. What the hell is this? Oh, shit. Yeah. Where the hell is this casino, by the way? It's across... I don't know where it is. I've never actually been there. I need to get off here, shit. Can I get back on? Yes, I can. Oh. I've never seen this toll booth anywhere. Where are we? I'm in that. Oh. Okay. If there's only one bridge to get there, though, I think I might be expecting me. I mean, that's what I would do if I was in Sal at the moment. Get inside. Okay, that's supposed to symbolize thunder. <laughs> of course it's raining. Everything's more dramatic when it starts raining, am I right? There it is. This is probably going to be the toughest mission yet. They're going to throw everything they have in there. Even though we've killed like hundreds of people already, there's probably like a small army in their range just to greet me. If I had to guess. I wonder if Sal can accept his fate at this point, but it seemed like he accepted that he was fucked regardless. I don't know, maybe he's holding out a glimmer of hope at this point, but it's gonna be extinguished anyway. <laughs> Alright, so... You should just let it go. We paid you the money, why the fuck couldn't you let it go, Sal, for fuck's sake? Come on. Paradise? Paradiso? I don't know what that's all right. Get inside, I don't know. I'm not going to climb that entire build and kill Georgie. With pleasure. I need to do that, fuck. I keep mistaking that button for, like, putting your gun out. I'm... Well, I'm... What was I about to say? Shit. I beg to differ. I, I couldn't think of what to say. Taking cover. I beg to fucking differ. Let's go. Mm. I can't see the oh, shit. All of us. Mm, two down, like a hundred left to go. <laughs> All right, easy does it. No need to rush through this. We got ourselves a gift. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Well, you guys fucking deserve it. You should know better to go to go down with keep sinking ship. Fuck, I hit. I'm hit. 
guy see me? I don't know where this guy is on the left. Whatever. You're still alive? Alright, come on. Go all day, Chief. Oh shit, motherfucker. Not cool, buddy. I wasn't ready for this. Fuck you. I didn't even waste my damn best. Shit. Hmm. I seriously don't know where this guy on the left is above me, but okay, get down, get down. Get your ass around him! He's picking us off! He should be worried. Grab a cover. Boys making me uncomfortable here. Who else is shooting at me? Someone from the right, but I don't see them. Oh, I now I see him. I can't see because they're bright. I don't know, he's still alive. Shit. I can't shoot him from this angle, I have to get closer. I don't know. Oh shit, he's coming down the stairs. I'm over here, asshole. <laughs> it's telling me to go towards the center, but why? Okay, now what? Not really giving me much guidance here, game. What? I'm right here where it's telling me to go, but there's nothing to do. Okay. Oh shit. It's like Christmas come up. Fuck. What is fucking that door that fucking open like that? I can't fuck. Okay, it's not cool, game. I was very unprepared for that. I'm very lucky I didn't die. In this room, I mean. You let the boys downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker, just like we said. You be careful, yeah? I ain't the one you need to be worried about. We talk. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna kill you and everyone else. I guess we're going this way. I have to be ready for more ambushes like that. It's probably gonna happen again. Are those men at the end of the hallway? I can't tell from here. Oh, we're behind the fence now. Okay. Are those guys just standing there? Why are they showing up as red targets? Huh. Oh, now they are. Okay. Okay. Grab some cover! Okay, gotta get closer though. There's no cover. You should. You oh, how did I? These motherfuckers can't protect you, Georgie. It's over. Down. Okay, I don't see any targets from here. You think I'm gonna roll over like a fucking dog? Fuck you! Fuck me, fuck you. I can't see anything. Ain't never getting to my old man. Again, I beg the fucking dipper. You 
should know better than, than, than to cross the wrong person. Especially considering how long you've been doing this shit. Okay. Shit. You're shooting up to a brand new casino, I might add. Okay. Down, down. Oh god, they're all stitching with me. It's a goddamn connect! <laughs> Is he hiding over there? I can't tell. Fucking hell. The bullets are flying. There we go. Shit. I have my ammo, don't want it to go too long. It's a lot more targets, I just can't see them from there. Maybe I can go around a bit. I just don't want them sticking up behind me. Like this, this guy's coming after me. Form up on me, and let's go! More of them coming in. I just saw that. Oh shit. I'm almost still. Mm. What the hell was that? I really don't want these guys surprising me. There's so many of them in the distance. I can't get shot at this time. I'm going to have to move closer even though I don't want to. Fuck. Head down, Lincoln. We come this far for you to die down. How are you not dead? Now you're dead. Rang well in ammo though. Did you just throw something? Yes, you did. What you waiting for? Throw it! Right here. Shit. Not gonna angle for me to be at. Rang well in ammo again. Fuck. Who the hell is Georgie in if it's all this? I'm empty. Give me a sec. Shit! He has me pinned down! I gotta take my time here, running well on bullets. Shit. What am I gonna do when I run out of ammo? I might be, I'm probably I'm gonna be screwed at that point. That Georgie up there? I can't tell. Negroes 
Bring out men, Georgie. What's it gonna be? Who the hell is this son of a bitch? Is that him up there? I can't tell from here. Oh, down. fucking hell. Alright. We get some more ammo. What the hell is this? Okay, I didn't really care about that, but do I go in there? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. There could be assault rifles, bullets. Hmm. I guess I go in here because there's more men up here, right? That makes sense. Why is that right Fuck, 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 get back. Switch weapons. Shit, oh shit, motherfucker. Well, are you gonna move or do I have to move? Is that Georgie? I can't tell from the, the silhouette. I guess that is, but he's not dying. Well, your reckoning ha time for uh, uh, time to die has come, Georgie. You stupid motherfucker! No. <sighs> I always thought you were my friend. <laughs> that you had me and Ellis's backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. Not did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. And you understand why I have to do this. Yeah, that's what you should have done to the other person. Would he die that quickly from a stab wound there? What'd you get? A key? Oh, elevator key. Huh? Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna take out Sal for a cutscene or what? I'm not sure. I just hope that's the last of his goons, because we've killed enough people as is. I know you think you're alone in this world, Linko, but you're not. And you never will be. Hurt my car. Alright. I don't have my guns, that's very unfortunate. I guess it's just me and him. Well, he has a gun, though, he might shoot me. I can't use my grenades or anything. Well, this is the big moment. Hell of a side, ain't it? When I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. He doesn't care. He knows you're gonna Whatever kill Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? No. 
Alright. I wanna put your guard down. There's a gun right on the desk you can pick up. I had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Nope. Don't look that way. I wouldn't drink that. It could be poison. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Thinking he could poison that. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died. I started having nightmares. How many siblings do you have? I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come knock my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. And there was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. Why are you telling me this? I'm one back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I gotta listen as all those men die. I would imagine that's, that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. I mean, it's so willing to admit he fucked up and willing to die at this point. Than this. <laughs> this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. You're not gonna live to see your son's funeral. I buried a lot of people. More than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here we are. My son is dead, and I'm having a drink with his killer. Yes, you are. Now, I'm not going to apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. Yeah. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. So your soul is. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men you like us were just again? wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. Kill one him? thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I don't doubt you. I know. We're both killers. What are you waiting for? Fucking do it. All right, with the boss. Fuck you. Look, I spared him. I didn't think of that. But I had a spare with him, that would have been interesting, but... Not that I would have, but I, I just followed that after I went ahead with it. Alright. Shit. I mean, what would be more fitting punishment? To kill him or let him live his life in solitude, knowing he, I took everything from him? Who's 
that? It's my associates. Aren't you the guy from the second game who did the deal? Oh, the pr guy in prison? I take it you're Lincoln Clay. Leo, Leo, Leo Clemente? So they tell me. Okay, so you're still alive. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. The shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> You know who I am, son? I do. I don't know Lincoln. Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened uh, here was between me and Marcano. I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. Well, you made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. What do you want me to do? I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, you? I know what you're talking about. No, sir. In exchange, you run things as you see fit. Want to sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. Only thing that matters is twenty percent. That seems fair. What if I decide to walk away, leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Is that Joe Barbaro? I can't tell if that's Joe or not. It kind of looks like him, but he's not saying anything. Well, shit, I, I would like confirmation to know Joe's still alive after what happened in the second game. Huh. <clears throat> Before they bury you, talk to Donovan the Fire James, All right? I'm still gonna have to look up and see if you can scale McConnell. I mean, I imagine you can't, and if you just try to walk away, it'll just shoot you in the back or something. I don't know. Okay, we gotta take a long drive now to get back to the mainland. I just can't tell if that was Joe and I. I don't remember his character model, what the hell he looked like. I haven't played Mafia 2 in like a few months. But even if that was Joe, it doesn't explain why they, he's alive. Because Rio at the, set, at the end of the second game said Joe was not part of the deal. So what would change anything that would allow him to be alive at this point? I don't know. Really makes you think. Maybe the war in this game goes deeper than I thought. Here. Okay. 
Okay, so where are we meeting Donovan and Bar James? I mean, motel was like a inferno at this point. No sense going back there. Oh, we're going to the church. Is that church? I mean, it looks like a church. They're both here. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over, done, finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal McConnell's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. Don't become the same person Sal was. You, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. This city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. That's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit.
After Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. Now he spit on Sal Marcano's grape one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't, finishing the casino. Now, two years later, Scaletta opened another casino, and then it was just an avalanche of development. Hotels, um, arenas, the new convention center. I mean, today, everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. And Vito? He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out of the city he owns. After Sam Marcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. Who is doing In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California. Worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was gonna get married, but then it it all came apart. How did it come apart? And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Are you glad I left town or not? You want me to leave town, father. Someday, he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake. And I'll be waiting. I promise you that. I still don't know who the hell you are exactly. Just a federal agent? Okay, then. I might have to mute the audio again because another stupid copyright song is playing as I was in the church. Actually, I probably am going to have to mute all the audio. Apologies, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Now, the reason I didn't go back and claim the throne was because I was afraid, based on what Donovan said, that if I did that, it would mean killing my associates. I did not want that to happen, obviously. I mean, maybe they would give me a choice if I went back there to kill or not kill, but I didn't want to take that chance, you know? I got to look up and see what the other endings are now. Can I skip this? Can I skip this? No, I cannot skip this. All right. Well, I, I'll let in some final thoughts as we're done. As, as we're closing out, I mean, excuse me. You're 45 minutes, but uh, that's fine. It's the, last, it's the last part, so it's fine. Yes, this game was very repetitive. It started out good enough, setting up the stage for what was meant to come. But then the thing is, it just delved into repetitiveness. To get the cell, you had to go after all these little people that had nothing to do with what happened. And basically, just do the same activities over and over, just in a different part of the city. It got boring after a while, it really did. Now, I've said this throughout the entire Let's Play, I'm not sure why they went in such a different direction compared to the first two. It really doesn't make sense to me why they would do that. The first two were pretty story-driven, as you guys can see. I played both of them on the channel, and I really liked how it was story-driven compared to, like, GTA. Because GTA is pretty much you just be a random criminal without any storyline behind, really. 
Why can't I skip the credits though? It's kind of weird. Let oh, me ask you something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman. Cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Sit down and just shut the fuck up! What's gonna happen now? I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me, and hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered, well, I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying... Okay, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, ah, shit. I, mean, I was not alive, obviously, during the November 22nd, 1963, because I was not just, I was not even a thought at that point. I know it really divided the nation, and that it was the most shocking thing that happened in this country, at least till September 11th, essentially, that was on such a grand scale. But after all these years, after all these theories, nothing has ever been proven beyond a reasonable doubt about there being more co-conspirators involved in that. I mean, at this point, I sincerely doubt, even if there was a conspiracy, that anything will be found out at this point. And look, that happened in 1963. It's 2020 right now. Nothing has ever surfaced after all these damn years. Anyway, I know we shouldn't discuss politics on the channel, but it's not about being Republican or Democrat, it's just about history, so I think it's okay. Right, so that does set up a nice prelude to the fourth game. If you could play as Donovan, maybe, and start going after people, I don't know. That'd be a nice touch if tied to all the games, because all these games are tied into each other at some point. The big problem is, though. I really want to know what happens if you take the throne, or even if you could spare Marcano. I have to look that shit up. And I will have to go mute during that shooting segment in the Senator thing, because they were, they were playing another song in there, fuck's sake. 
from what I've heard, the the company that owns the rights to Mafia, I believe they're like Hangar 13, I believe. Well, either way, they said they they have no plans to do a new game at the moment, but they're not retiring the franchise as of yet. That that's their official statement, as far as I heard. So it might be a while till we get a Mafia game, but it's not completely off the books, as far as I can tell. I mean, if they go back to the story late stuff, I'd be more than happy to play more Mafia, you know? If it's just going to be this repetitive bullshit again, I'm not going to be interested at all in playing it, to be honest. But yeah, the experience for me, as far as Let's Play goes, is kind of mixed. Because again, I'm a, a huge chunk of it just spent damaging the rackets. Getting someone to pop out. You go there, you confront them, then you bring out the district boss, you kill them, and then you just do it six times over and over. They could put put a bit more variety into it, you know? If they had to make it us clear out an entire city, there could have been different ways they could have approached it, I feel. But instead they went in just this repetitive nonsense way. I don't know what they thought would be a good point in doing that. Also, the AI. The, fuck that cop AI. I brought that up repeatedly throughout the Let's Play, but still. They see a guy shooting at me, and they go after me. They don't go after the guy shooting at me. They go after me, specifically. And they specifically ignore them and fight alongside them. What the fuck is that all about? Because remember from the first two games, if you caused a little infraction, they try to give you a ticket. You go further than that, they try to arrest you. And after that is when they try to shoot you. Yet, yeah, in this game, they go from 0 to 100, no matter what the hell you do. It's kind of stupid. Okay, I don't know how much water this is going to be. There's no way to skip this. I'm just afraid it's going to be some another after credit scene. That's why I'm not shutting off just yet. On the related note, I don't know if I have said this yet, but the Mafia Definitive Edition for the first game is coming out on September 25th. And today's date is actually September 20th. Of course, yes, it's 1.30 in the morning. So yeah, five days it comes out. From what I read from a video on Game Ranks, it's going to be the same game. All the missions from the first game are going to be in this definitive edition. But they're going to expand on some things a bit. Because remember Tommy had though, like a love interest, we barely saw anything about her. Supposedly they're going to expand on the love interest a bit more. Give her more of a fleshed out story and involve her in the, sto in the plot a bit. So that'd be nice, considering we barely knew the woman, and yet we married her and had a kid. It's kind of weird. I do anticipate that the ending's going to be the same. You know, that Tommy's going to die as an old man in his front yard. And then, knowing what the end result's going to be this time around is going to be upsetting, knowing that he tried to make things right still, and in the end he still paid the price for it. But considering the first game is canon to the second game, this is the way it's going to have to be, I guess. I mean, it's no way of avoiding things if they're canon. You could retcon, but I don't think this game is going to retcon anything, to be honest. I really wish I could speed this up, please. God damn it. I mean, I may cut some stuff out of this video. I'm not sure yet. We're approaching an hour. I'm not sure if you guys even enjoy watching me at the during the end credits talk about the game in general, but I don't know. Okay, could these credits hurry the fuck up, please? I'm trying to think of something else to say, but I really can't think about anything. I covered pretty much all I want to say about the game at this point. Yes, I am aware I didn't do certain side activities, like all the assassinations for Vito, the car thing for Burke, raising the Rackets money by doing all those repetitive side missions again, and the marijuana thing. But, again, that would if I did focus on that stuff, it just would have extended the length of the Let's Play to the point where it might become a bit uncomfortable, you know? So that's why I chose not to focus on them, and they're not going to be included. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind anyway, considering that there's no story elements to that. At least as far as I know, there's no story elements to that, so yeah. 
Can I just hurry the fuck up, please? I mean, I have to see if I can go back into the game and choose the other option about taking the throne. Now, I'm gonna have to cut some of this out, like I said, because this game. Okay, special thanks. Special thanks is usually the last thing, right? Oh, apparently this game is localized in a lot of different places. Okay, this must be the end, right? Ah, yes. Finally over. So, do I get to go back into my game now or not? Apparently I can, but where's it going to put me at? Right before my decision? I may have to splice this video up a bit, because there's a lot of time me just talking during the credits. I don't know, maybe you guys do want to see me leave that in, but it's hard to tell at this point if you guys like seeing me talk about the game once it's over. I just want to see what happens if I roll back in the game. Is it going to throw me back to before I chose to leave town? Yes, it did. All right, cool. Okay, we're back in before I made the decision. That's good. Who the hell am I, by the way? More importantly, how the hell do I get out of here? Alright. So I'm gonna try the other ending, and if there is an option to kill my associates, I'm sure as shit not taking it. God damn, I worked very well to earn the trust of these people. I'm not gonna throw that all away for fuck's sake. Is my car here on the other side? I mean, you have to be some mean spirited son of a bitch to, keep, to backstab the three people who helped you get this empire to begin with, right? Alright, so I guess we'll drive over there and see what happens. Again, just because Donovan is telling me to kill them doesn't mean I have to listen to him. I don't know why he would say such a dirty thing to begin with. I mean, I could easily just shoot around, shoot around and kill Donovan because he was someone I've worked with, right? It's a double standard when you think about it. So I guess we have free roam time now to do any other side activities and maybe get all the collectibles. Not that I intend on doing that because I spent way too long on this game as is. Way too long. In fact, I think I've been playing this game for around three months, on and off. It's kind of insane. I've never spent any amount of time doing that for any other game. At least in Let's Play form, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna try to get over to the plantation as quick as I can. And we'll see what happens.
Okay, we're finally here, guys. Let's see what happens if I go in here. Okay, they're all waiting for me. Why'd you put a gun on the table? Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. Wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. We're all together. Fuck the other option. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. Okay, so th does that affect the ending at all? After he killed Sal Marcano, Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded oh, out across shit. the south into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow, buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to oh. shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. This documentary. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. If it made a dollar, he was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I, I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. That'd be uh, kind of a piece in that. He's upset. He's the one who saved Lincoln, after all. He some, in some ways, he regrets what he did. That's how it ends, huh? Credits again? Yep, okay. I'm not gonna do the rule alone option, because that's just evil. I don't care if I even get a trophy for it, I'm not fucking doing that. Even off camera, I'm not choosing that option. I don't want to see what the fuck happens. I really don't. The only thing I really want to know is, can you spare Marcano? Probably not, but I'm gonna look that up anyway. And as far as I'm concerned, this Let's Play is a wrap. I covered everything I want to cover. I did cover... Like, some certain side activities, but again, I got the gist of the story, I think that's good enough. Considering I've been playing this game for so many months now. So let's just leave it at that, okay? Okay. So, alright, so, yeah, we're over an hour unedited, so I will have to just splice this up into a few parts. Splice this up a bit, maybe even make it two videos, I'm not sure yet. We'll cut out the fluff and see what's left over, okay? Thank you for watching, I will see you in a new series. Bye for now.